Hey guys, so I don't know how, how many of you guys watched, uh, you know, there's, there's a television show on uh, History Channel, it's called Alone. Um, I've, been, I've been watching it since uh, season one. Um, it's, uh, the show's really evolved a lot. Uh, but now we're getting into, I uh, can't remember the number, the name of the season, but uh, we're in the, the latest season. I believe it's nine. And um, for the first time ever, I saw somebody, uh, one of their 10 items that they chose to, uh, to bring out with them was a uh, chunk of rock salt and uh, so far they've only showed uh, this this contestant uh, this contestant one time but uh, whether he does good or not in it I don't know if he is or not um, but uh, he he chose to bring a chunk of rock salt and uh, I honestly believe it's one of the smartest items I've ever seen anybody bring out um, to the show with them and, uh, I mean, it can do so much for you, uh, having that salt. Uh, it's going to boost your morale, because it's going to make your food taste better. Um, it's going to give you the electrolytes that your body needs, um, which in turn is going to give you a lot more energy. It's just uh, just an overall morale booster, and, and uh, I think it was a very, very intelligent item to bring. So, that being said... Uh, wait for the next episode that's coming on tonight and uh, we'll see how it goes but uh, so far I'm liking this season and I uh, hope you guys watch it too if you don't maybe try what give it a try watch it it's, a, it's actually a really really good show Labrador is an adventure beyond my wildest dreams the weather here will be a test of fortitude and strength we got to stay alive, we got to stay dry, and make very few mistakes to be the last one standing. If I can give it 100%, I'm going to win no matter where I end up. My name is Benji Hill, and these are my 10 items. First, we got the trusty sleeping bag. Wouldn't dare enter these woods without it. Being such a wet environment here, I went with a synthetic bag, and being able to recover in this bag every night will be imperative to success in the long term. Next up, cast iron pot. It's exactly two quarts for boiling water, planning to eat a bunch of soups and stews. The lid also functions as a pan of sorts. Also, there's kind of two items in one with this and plan to eat a lot of good meals out of this thing. Trapping wire is gonna be key out here. While you're either fishing, resting, or working on other projects, having trapping wire allows you to passively Hunt. I plan to set a lot of traps and have these working for me night and day. Wouldn't be a proper backcountry adventure without an ax. Looking to chop a lot of wood and build a nice shelter with this. Next, we got fishing line. We're gonna be doing a lot of fly fishing here and fish is gonna be one of the best sources of food, protein and fat out here. And this river is an amazing trophy class fishery. So I'm really looking forward to all the great fish I catch. Paracord's at the top of my list. Got lots of colors. We'll be using this a lot to make homemade fly lures to show where our trap lines are so we don't lose any traps out here. Paracord's gonna be really key out here. It wasn't a hard decision to bring the ferro rod for me. Friction fire is fun, but I wanna be able to stay warm and have fire when I need it. And as a survival tool, this is gonna be essential out here to staying warm cooking food and boiling water and tea. So ferro rods coming with me. Need this multi-tool for all kinds of jobs out here. The pliers, the knife, the saw, and some of the other options make this an invaluable resource out here. There's so many tools in this one item. Kind of a rare item to be brought on the show, but a very important one is salt. I'm really banking on eating protein, fat, and salt. Salt keeps my energy up, keeps me hydrated, and there's tons of other minerals in here. So I'm gonna risk it, leave something behind, and bring salt for this adventure. Last but not least is my classic recurve. This bow has harvested more game for me than any bow I have in my arsenal. Even though I choose to generally hunt with self bows now, I'm going back to this legendary bow for the hunt of my life and looking to take down some bears, some small game, and it's the most accurate high power bow I got and I can bend my life on this thing. Those are my 10 items. Can't wait to get out there and use them. <laughs>